guys, so this is going to be a quick vlog on what to do if you're going on a cruise and you are on a gluten-free diet, um, especially if it's for health reasons and you absolutely, absolutely cannot risk getting contaminated, cross-contaminated, and um, you're spending a lot of money, so you need to know that you're going to be able to eat and still just have options if you're going on vacation so recently my husband and i went on a seven day cruise with holland america and uh, um i have never been on a cruise before while i was on a gluten-free diet so the first thing that i needed to know was you know are they trained in cross-contamination and um will they work with you what are the steps that i needed to take and there really wasn't a whole lot of information out there on the internet, which is why I decided to make this video. So, um, there, as far as I saw, there was no place on their website to get the form. I had to call the 800 number that's listed at the top of the website. It was really easy. They emailed me the form. I basically just filled it out and then I scanned it and then I emailed it back to them and then they confirmed that they received the form. And I turned my form in 45 days in advance. But he assured me, the person that I was speaking to assured me that it wasn't going to be an issue because um, we were just going to the Caribbean. And basically the form just asks, um, what foods do you want while you're on the cruise? And this is for formal dining. And if you're doing the formal lunch and formal breakfast, they're going to have these foods that you asked for on hand. So for instance, if you want gluten-free waffles or desserts, then you would check that box or if you want pizza dough or um, bread rolls or sandwich bread then you would check whatever box that you want and I believe there was some kind of stipulation like you can only have two items from each section a day or they charge you an additional dollar now in my case during the formal dinner they never actually brought me rolls they never had rolls they said that they didn't have any and I don't know why they didn't have any because I filled out the form in time. But they kept bringing me sandwich bread. And I was like, I'm not going to eat a slice of bread with my dinner. I wanted a roll. And so, you know, one night they brought me like three slices of sandwich bread and it just sat there. So I was concerned they were going to charge me for that, but they didn't. And um, as far as like the pizza dough and stuff like that goes, on the Lido deck they have a a um, pizza kind of like a pizza bar where you can get you know pizza and pop so anyway now that I have all of that out of the way there are um, a few things that I just wanted to share with you guys about my personal experience Palo in America was really really great when it comes to the gluten-free dining the people in the formal dining room were well trained they knew about cross-contamination I didn't have to Make sure that, you know, oh, did you change your gloves before you gave me this? Oh, you know. So, um, the formal dining was basically my main means of dining the entire time that I was on the cruise because the Lido Deck really didn't have too much to offer. The Lido Deck was actually the most disappointing part of the cruise and it actually just made me not want to go on any more cruises because they didn't have very much gluten-free food and so I had to watch my husband eat all of this great food and the only thing that I could eat was a plain salad from the salad bar and you know they had like a little bit of sliced turkey they had cheese tomatoes basically they have like whole foods but they had no gluten-free salad dressing so all I could use was red wine vinegar and olive oil for seven days for lunch that's all I was able to get was red wine vinegar, olive oil, plain salad with just a little bit of vegetables and you know stuff like that on it and you know a few times I actually wound up going to the um, the pizza bar at night because there were a few instances on the formal dining where I didn't like what they gave me and so I just couldn't eat because they can only give you what they prepare for you so a few times I went to the Lido deck at 10 p.m and um, I got their pasta. The only thing that sucks about the pasta bar is that the pasta never changes. So you're always going to get penne pasta and then you have a choice of meat spaghetti sauce, spaghetti sauce with no meat, or fettuccine. And then the gluten-free pizza is basically just a pre-prepared -pre frozen pizza that they heat up and give to you. And I don't know, 
it wasn't really that great. I had it once. I didn't like it. The bread was kind of weird. Um, almost like chalky. Like it just, it was very chalky and strange. And so I never got the pizza again, but I did eat the pasta three times because like I said, if they didn't have anything available for me at the formal dining, I either wasn't going to eat at all or I was going to have to eat at that pizza bar. So, and, and you know, like the pizza bar wasn't like great, like as far as the pasta goes, like the pasta wasn't amazing, but they had, um, they had fresh pesto chopped up and some garlic for you to add to it. And then you could get salt, pepper, cheese. That's pretty much it. So, um, while I'm talking about, you know, my dining experience, I'm going to be showing pictures probably like, you know, somewhere over here or somewhere over here because I did take a lot of pictures of everything that I ate that they made for me that was gluten-free so that I could share the experience with you. So as far as the Lido deck goes, the only thing that they had available was other than the pizza bar with the pasta and the salad bar, they have something called a bistro where they basically have... Um, I think it was like roasted or grilled meats. So they would have like grilled salmon, grilled chicken, you know, roast beef, things like that, which are gluten free. But like I said, who wants to go on a cruise and eat grilled fish and veggies or grilled fish and salad or plain white rice? Everything at the Asian bar that they made, they put soy sauce in it and I couldn't eat any of it. I was so mad. And um, there were a few things, though. There was a few things that they made that were um, Indian food and it was vegetarian. So I was able to eat a little bit of vegetable korma. And um, there was some Indian dish that I ate. I don't, re I don't remember the name of it, but it was some kind of fish that was sauteed. And then they had some white rice with some spices mixed in. And that was really good. That actually was one of the most enjoyable meals that I had on the Lido deck since everything was just so plain. So as far as the Lido deck goes, it just, it really sucked. I really hated going in there for lunch because it was always a disappointment. I always had to watch my husband eat something that looked great and then I just had like something that wasn't great. And we ate on the Lido deck a few times for breakfast and I had, um, I had an omelet and fresh fruit and sliced cheese and um, one time I had uh, ice cream so if you ask them if something is gluten-free a lot of times the people that are serving it don't know but they'll stop what they're doing and they'll go ask the chef and the chef will either come back and tell you you can eat this or this or they will come back and tell you the chef said no you cannot eat anything up here and um, you guys know the feeling when you're eating out to dinner and you ask somebody is something gluten-free and they go, what? What's that? And you're like, no, I got to get out of here. A lot of times they, they were like, what? But they were like, let me ask the chef. So it wasn't anything that made me scared or made me think like, oh my gosh, I can't eat up here at all. I trusted what the chef was saying because they cooked the food and so... That was okay with me. So as far as um, the formal dining goes, basically they'll bring you the menu the night before. You go through the menu and you pick out what you want to eat. Usually it's an appetizer, a soup and a salad, um, an entree, and a dessert. And so you just pick out everything you want. And if you don't want something that's on there, you just cross it out. And then you, you hand your you know menu back to the waiter. And then they give it to the chef. So the next day when you come in, they already have your food prepared. And they already know that you pre-ordered it. It's gluten-free. They should bring you a roll. They should be able to tell you whether, like, excuse me, if you're ordering, like, tea or juice or something, they should be able to tell you whether that's safe for you to drink. Same thing goes with um, any sides, for instance, like... They actually did have gluten-free salad dressing in the formal dining. I don't know why they didn't have it on the Lido deck, but they had balsamic dressing. So, um, basically, it was hit or miss with the formal dining. Sometimes the food tasted amazing. Um, one night they gave me these Caribbean seafood fritters, and it was just three. It was just three little, they looked a lot like hush puppies. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. And I was like, can I have more of these? And they were like, no, we only made you three because that's all you asked for was three. 
So I quickly learned that if you want more of something or you think you're going to want more, you need to write it on the menu the night before. So with that being said, I looked at the menu and I was like, oh great, we're going to have crab cakes. I love crab cakes and the fritters were so good, I thought they were going to taste like the crab cakes. So I said, I want four crab cakes. They brought me those crab cakes and they were disgusting. You know, instead of them making them with kind of like... Um, a cornmeal filling or a substitute to the bread they gave me a crab cake that was made out of like potato and it had no crab in it no seafood and I was like oh my gosh this is disgusting and um, like they apologized they were like you know we can make it again with with less potato in it but they explained to me that it had to be baked not fried or it was gonna fall apart and that you know the other ones that everybody else had was pre-made but mine was made by them because it had to be gluten-free so that was one of those cases where it was a disaster and uh, another night I had fish with rice veggies one night I had pasta with seafood that wasn't really so great um, one night they made me a slice of cheesecake. That was the only time that I had dessert the entire time I was on the cruise was the very last night. They had cheesecake on the menu and they said they could make it gluten free. So I was like, well, I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> it was not good. So a lot of times if I was in the mood for dessert, I just got their um, assorted cheese from around the world and I just, you know, ate that. And the last night I also had this really great chicken. It was like a... a chicken stuff with cheese with corn and it had like diced tomatoes and that was that was one of the best things that I had I also had surf and turf which was really great and it's like you would think like a lot of times my husband and I ordered the same thing like a surf and turf and you would think oh it's just lobster with steak and then I had wild rice and veggies you you would think they're both the same but there's things that go into those sauces that you know obviously they're gonna have flour in them so even though it looked the same my sauce on my surf and turf and my lobster was actually still gluten free and his wasn't. So sometimes you would be able to see the difference in the food that you're eating. Oh, they had one night I had shrimp and grits and that was the first time I had shrimp and grits before and I've been wanting to try it, you know, so much. And there aren't really that many restaurants down here that have shrimp and grits where I live. I think one restaurant has it and like everything they make is weird so I've never been there before. But um, I've been wanting to try that. That was phenomenal. That was one of the best meals that I had on the cruise. And then another night I had um, spaghetti, I had squash, yellow squash soup and it had I think uh, seafood in it. So that was also just really, 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 really good. So like I said guys, sometimes it was great. The food was great and I was happy. And other times it was just literally utterly depressing like there was just nothing for me to eat except for just plain salad or plain grilled chicken and I mean like who wants to feel like that while they're on vacation while they did their absolute best to accommodate me and they were entirely knowledgeable and they were friendly and they and they actually expressed feeling bad for me they felt very bad when you know there was just nothing they could do um just because of that I'm not sure if I would go through that again go on another cruise not you not because it's their fault or anything like that and um i did order from room service once i got a sandwich a tuna melt and a salad and that was actually really good um and i just made sure you know i said are you guys going to make my sandwich in a different area than you make the rest of the sandwiches and they're like yeah so i mean i had i ate basically in every place that i could get food without having to pay for uh, some of the restaurants that they have on the cruise. So, I don't know, it was just a really interesting experience just having to be around like so much free food and have to say no to it. And that actually makes me want to make like another video because I've had something on my mind, but you know, I've been so busy with Thanksgiving, like I haven't had a chance to just like make this other video, but Anyway, so for any of you guys that ever wonder what it's like to go on a cruise and eat gluten-free, that is how it was. So anyway, guys, that is basically everything that I wanted to show you guys or tell you guys, well, show you and tell you about my vacation. If you follow me on Instagram, um, my Instagram name is Fashion to Live, and I take so many pictures of food. I'm so sure that I get on everyone's nerves, but um, 
yeah I all these pictures that I showed in this video are actually on my Instagram page so anyway guys until next time